Hello, welcome to my Rans S21 shop. So this is where I'm at. Right now behind me, if we have all the uh, leftover, not leftover, but parts, uh, a lot of interior parts ready to be assembled. Uh, engine cowling, uh, seats are all ready to go. I have uh, some of the uh, plenum and engine exhaust and prop all behind here. Um, on the table, we just finished balancing the elevator and it's uh, ready to be installed. Obviously, once I paint the elevator, I may have to rebalance it and adjust the lead weights in here. We have the uh, horizontal stabilizer ready to go. Uh, unfortunately, in my shop, I will not be able to assemble the wings or uh, horizontal stabilizer uh, due to the door opening, but that'll be assembled once we're uh, in the hangar. Uh, the wings are all assembled. I have the ailerons and flaps are up here all ready to go on. I still have to balance out the ailerons, but that should be a pretty fairly easy task. But these are all ready to go, all pre-wired, all the cabling in there, um, for the most part ready to be hung on the airplane. Uh, one of the uh, features over here that I did do was the Aerosport wingtips. So the Rand's stock wingtips are here. The white ABS or, uh, wingtip. And you can see that the Aerosport wingtip is quite a bit larger. Uh, it should give a little more lift, although it may tend to... Uh, Make the plane a little sluggish in turns due to the extended uh, wingtip uh, trailing edge. But this is a nice feature here. Uh, back in here you can see a lot of the cabling and electrical wiring for wing lights and nav lights are ready to be basically installed. And behind that you can see the horizontal stabilizer is uh, there ready. It also has an aftermarket uh, top piece on that transition, uh, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's a, uh, it's another nice, really nice aftermarket piece that makes it really clean on that. Last but not least, the panel. Um, Vance panel is what I chose here uh, with Aerosport panel. They did the carbon fiber and clear coat it. A lot of extra money, but I think it literally looks nice in here. Uh, Vance panel is great. They came up with all my requirements for lettering and gauges and everything is all uh, the laser etched in there on these. Uh, we have, uh, we're going to have the two of the 5600 series advanced panel monitors, glass panels. Uh, I chose to do a G5 for redundancy. Uh, we have uh, the COM. Uh, it's all internal uh, radios, but we have the uh, extra COM display up here as well as the autopilot. Uh, they came up with whatever switches I needed, and they all light up on the nav lights. Um, so it's a pretty nice uh, deal here for the autopilot, uh, engine monitoring built into it. It can bring up the camera for the front view. Um, I think I'm going to be real happy with this. We have uh, taxi lights down here. Uh, will be a, or a extra taxi lights, so there's taxi lights in the wings, and then the nav uh, nav lights on the wingtips. Uh, pedo heat, AOA, pedo tube, uh, even a defrost button to pull some of the heat off the instruments and defrost the windows if necessary. Uh, some of the other switches have an autopilot disconnect, push to talk, uh, trim control for the elevator. And we've got our uh, fuel pump for uh, auxiliary fuel pump for takeoff and landings. And that's all uh, pretty sweet. I think it's a nice uh, deal and they really work well. And I think it's going to be a sharp looking airplane. Thank you.